We're going to have a quick look at hexadecimal. This is useful when we are looking at uh, Unicode and the numbers for Unicode. Um, it's also useful because if we look at the ASCII chart, you can see that, say, for example, um, the character capital E has got a um, decimal 69. It's got the binary number here. Um, we've got the hex number here at 45, and something the uh, ASCII at um, capital E. So we're going to have a look at these ones here. You can see how the hex gets letters as well. So I'll spend a wee bit of time explaining this. The important thing to remember is that hexadecimal is actually only a shorthand way of representing binary. So uh, it's not actually really different than binary. It's just a different way of representing binary. And how it works is that each um, chunk of four bits is uh, separated out. So we separate out our binary into chunks of four bits. So for example, it might look like this. So they're chunked out into four. So what I've got here uh, is the, um, the sort of template for using hex. And you can see how it happens is that uh, we've got binary going up to number um, nine here. So our hex goes up to nine, and this is just ordinary counting in binary. So zero, 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 zero is zero, uh, one is uh, one, two is one, zero, five is one, zero, one, um, eight is one, zero, 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 uh, nine is one, zero, zero, one. Okay, so we've got four chunks here. Now, to go on to um, the, the further numbers, um, we use capital letters instead. So that would be, um, what's this? This is an eight and a two is 10. This will be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, but we've used capital letters instead. Okay, so let's take an example and, and see how this works. So I'm gonna look at the decimal number 52 and we're going to express that. So let's have a look. So decimal is 52. How do we work this out? Well, we do our binary number line, 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and uh, units. So we go no 128s, no 64s. We've got 132 uh, plus 116 plus a 0 plus a 1 there and 0 and 0. So what does our number look like altogether? Goes um, 0, 0, 1, 1, and then 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay, so we split our binary number up into uh, chunks of four bits. Let's look at our hexadecimal table. So we look at the hexadecimal table on here. And so we're looking for 0011. So 0011 is 3. And 0100, 0100, there is 4. So in hexadecimal, 52, the decimal 52 uh, is 3, 4 in hexadecimal. What we're going to do now is have a look at a, a slightly uh, more complicated example that uses the letters. So we're going to look at the decimal number uh, 110. So the decimal number 110. Uh, in binary, this is 
as follows. I'm not going to do the calculation for you. You can check this yourself if you wish. It's 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. So we split this up into two chunks of 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1, 1, 0. We look in our table. So if we find it over here, uh, 6 is 0, 1, 1, 0. And capital E is 1, 1, 1, 0. So we've got a decimal 1, 1, 0, 110 is 6E in hexadecimal. Now, the reason why we use hexadecimal is because it's uh, a much quicker way of representing the binary digits. So it's a shorthand way. It shortens the number of ones and zeros that we have to use. And in a character set like Unicode, which we'll cover later on, instead of having uh, two or three different bits worth of um, binary to write down, we can write it down with just two characters. 